Hey gamers, I am Cybersnake7 and welcome to another Man vs Master System. This one's a special one for me guys, this is my 100th video. Uh, but not only that, these 10 games are from the one and only Woodland37. Yep, last week uh, Carl, he sent me a private video and he was saying to me that he's selling on his Master System collection but knowing how fussy that I am, he decided just to show me the box to complete versions of the games. So, after looking at the video, we struck up a deal and I bought 12 games off him. Um, and he threw in a Brucey bonus, which made it 13. The 13th game being not a game that I really wanted. Uh, I commented on that I wouldn't really want it straight away, but he sent it me just for spite. But cheers, mate. Thanks for the Brucey bonus. But anyway, enough of that. Let's crack on, guys, to the next episode. And these are games 31 to 40. Game 31, a movie-based game. Um, love the film, love the trilogy of films, I always have done. Um, but this game is a disappointment and is not a good uh, game at all. Shame really because I expected much more and a, a better game uh, to do with the movie because I played the Mega Drive version, the third one, and I didn't like that. So... Seeing this on Ninja Bear Hulk's SMS quest, it totally put me off the idea of playing this game. And I did say to him, I'd get it, shelve it, and never play it. But it is Back to the Future Part 2. Um, obviously, there's five levels on this one. Um, potential for this game, it was there, but it just got ruined. Um, you got a bit of everything. You got a bit of side-scrolling action. You got a bit of um, puzzle element to the game. And you've also got the... Uh, hoverboard section which is probably the bane of the game to be honest because the um, the collision detection isn't very good at all and it makes the game extremely difficult to play so uh, it totally put me off the idea of trying to even contemplate playing this because I'll probably get annoyed with it really quickly so anyway I've got it I'm glad to have it it's part of the collection and there's game 31 guys that is back to the future part 2 I think it's going to be there to stay. Right, game 32 is another movie based game, uh, but this one I did enjoy. Uh, and I originally had this, but I got rid of it because I didn't have any instructions for the game. So good to get this back. Uh, and it is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Uh, love this game. This one's got six stages. Uh, real good music in it, real good platform action. Uh, follows the film to a T, basically. Uh, but yeah. Not a bad side-scrolling action platformer, to be honest. Very, very good. Um, as I say, very close to the movie uh, in terms of storyline. But not much else to say about it, to be honest. But still an enjoyable experience. I wouldn't mind playing the Mega Drive version. I've never ever played it, weirdly. But never mind. There's game 32, guys. That is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Game 33. Now, this game is... An interesting game I, I do like the idea of this one and I'm gonna give this a go um, sometime probably the weekend um, looks a pretty interesting game and it is uh, Global Gladiators uh, the McDonald's franchise game that came out a wee while ago but it doesn't look too bad uh, looks a pretty interesting side-scrolling action platformer uh, and it's a pretty meaty game there's 12 levels on this so it's going to be uh, an interesting ride but the Story goes, strap on your goo shooter and join Mick and Mac, the global gladiators, on a quest to neutralise the monsters of Slime World. Well, that's a pretty easy enough story to understand, isn't it? Uh, but obviously I reckon there's a, a bit of a meaty challenge in this one, so I reckon this will be quite interesting to play. Um, as you can see, the game, they're in absolutely pristine condition. Quality titles, mate, quality. But... Um, very interested in playing this one. I'm looking forward to giving this one. I'll just probably play this now, uh, the weekend. But yeah, that is game. Game 33, I'm losing count already. 33, that is Global Gladiators. Right, game 34. Don't need much of an explanation about what it is. It's an arcade classic. Uh, everybody's played this yet again on one format or another. And it is golden axe um it does a pretty good conversion onto the master system graphically good music's quite good um 
this one's got five rounds, um, obviously exactly the same as the Mega Drive version, um, but absolutely class game, just a true classic arcade game. Not much to say about it apart from that, but everybody knows the score, it's Golden Axe. That's game 34. Game 35 is a game I played a lot on in the arcades, uh, but originally it was called SDI on the arcades. Um, but the, mess, the Master System version is called Global Defence. Um, obviously, this is a kind of a shoot 'em up game, to be honest with you. Um, if it was anything, it's, like, it's obviously going to be like the arcades where you've got um, a cursor on the screen and you've got to take the missiles out. Basically, the premise of the story is you've got missiles that have been shot from the far reaches of space and they're trying to take out the Earth. And you being the global defence, you've got to stop the missiles hitting Earth. Simple as that. But um, the game itself was quite addictive on the arcade. You had the rollerball and you basically move the cursor around to get all the missiles. And this is more or less exactly the same. So, uh, looking forward to giving this one a go. Not, as I say, tested all these, uh, not actually played any of these as yet. So, but another good title for the collection, uh, and that's game 35, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, yep. Game 35, that is Global Defence. Right, game 36. Game 36 is another sports title, and yet another golf game. Um, I really did like this anyway on the, me the Mega Drive um, and it's just a carbon copy of the Mega Drive version really and it is the PGA to a Golf uh, graphically very good plays really good as well uh, anybody who's anybody has played PGA or if you're into your golf you will like this game it is a pretty impressive game uh, I find most golf games on the Master System are top down view so it's nice to have the normal front view uh, I do like that style of gameplay for the golf games. But this one is it's like brand new when I got this one. It's absolutely in spanking condition. And a, a brilliant another sports talk to the collection. Oh, I'm going to have loads of tennis games and loads of golf games. I, it's tons, isn't there? Tons. But anyway, absolutely happy to, happy to have this in the collection. Another golf game. That is PGA Tour Golf. And that's game 36. Game 37. These next two, not much of an explanation I don't need because everybody knows what they are. Uh, and this is no, you know, just, it's just Sonic 2. Say no more. Um, I played Sonic 1 on the Master System, but I've never played Sonic 2. So it'll be interesting to see the variations in this one compared to the Mega Drive. I know it's not going to be as up there as the Mega Drive version, but I still think it's still going to be a pretty good game because I really did enjoy the first one. But, um, brilliant game uh, by the looks of things. Um, how many st it's seven rounds on this one, uh, so I reckon it's going to be pretty challenging, I hope. But, uh, as yet again, the game is in absolutely pristine condition. Uh, just got to get hold of the first one now um, to finish off the collection of the uh, Sonic games. But, uh, I think there's another one, uh, Sonic KS Emeralds or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Once I've got that one, because I've already got Spinball already. So I've got Spinball and Sonic 2 now. But there you go, guys. A classic Sonic 2 for you. And that's game 37. Right, game 38 is a Mega Drive classic, which has been converted over to the Master System. Um, Really, really good game. Always loved this game anyway. Um, but always preferred the Japanese artwork because, well, I'll explain when you see the game. It is Strider. Uh, another side-scrolling action platformer. Brilliant game. Um, this one's got five rounds. Um, and everybody knows the story. Uh, the Earth is under siege. Grandmaster Mio has unleashed his diabolical uh, creations on an unsuspected world. Strider Hiru... Uh, faces a wave of terror alone and needs your help to wipe out the threat. The master awaits. How exciting. But the thing about this cover art, um, I don't know if anybody thinks the same as me, but I've always thought the same. Look at his face and it either looks like, I think he looks like Freddy Star, 
Now, if you're old enough to remember Freddy Star, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I just don't like the artwork for this game. Uh, always preferred the Japanese artwork. Much, much better. But you can't knock the game. The game is a classic game. But that, guys, is game 30, 38. Yep, yeah, it's game 38. That is Strider. Game 39. What we got? Oh, now this one I've never, ever played before. Ever. Um, and this one was one of the rarer titles of the 13 that I bought off a call. Um, so I did give him the asking price for this because it's only fair because this game can go for some money. And it is Zool. Never played this game. Looks a pretty decent action platformer. Not much to say on the back. It, all it says is technically how good the game is. So all I know is a ninja from the ninth dimension. That's it. But um, it's not looking too bad. Uh, Tried and tested, not played yet, so I can't really determine on how well this game plays or how good the game is. But uh, the game itself is absolutely mint condition. I mean, it's just quality condition. But looking forward to giving this a go because, I've, as I say, I've never ever played it before. So another good platformer to the collection to give a crack off. But there you go, that is game 39, guys. That is Zool. Game number 40. Now this one is the Brucey bonus. I thought I'd shove this one in because it just made me laugh to be honest with you. Because obviously when he showed me all these games um, and I made a comment on this game. I said well I'm assuming that, that game can wait just a little longer before it heads into my collection. But he sent me anyway as a freebie and I, I really got to say thanks for that mate. You know I, I just find it quite funny. I'll probably never play the thing but it's still... A great game to have in the collection as you say you said yourself you're gonna have to get it anyway eventually so now I've got it but I know this guy's big on this kind of sport um, and I've got no idea how to play this sport apart from I know you got to like you got three chances to get as far up the field as you can that's as much as I can muster out the game but he sent me Joe Montana football uh, American football. <laughs> what can I say? Let's read the back. Let's have a look. Uh, American football has arrived. Joe Montana football gives you the strategic and hard-hitting action of pro football, along with some advice from Joe Montana, the best quarterback ever to play the game. Is that true? I've got no idea. But graphically, it don't look too bad. I got to admit, it looks pretty damn good for the uh, the master system. I got to say, it looks all right. Um, I don't know whether I get interesting to play in this game or I, I get to learn how to play because I never played any Maker Football game, Madden games or nothing. I, I, my mate was mad on them, but I just never ever got interested in it. I like watching American football, the Super Bowl. Uh, I still can't get my head around it, but it's still good to watch. But um, quite funny that he threw this as a Brucey bonus, uh, knowing full well that I needed it anyway. And I said, I don't want it, but he sent it anyway. But Carl, thank you very much, mate. Uh, but that is game number 40, uh, Joe Montana Football, up on the shelf. Now, there are three more games from Carl, but I'm going to keep them uh, for the next episode of Man vs. Master System. So, guys, that is it. That is game number 40. Another Man vs. Master System done and dusted till next week. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, because I believe well did. Um, as always guys, I am Cybersnake7, keep playing, keep watching, and please do comment and do subscribe. All the best guys.